Welcome to my top 20 death metal albums of all time. That's right, we're doing it again. It's been about two years since my last one, and I thought, you know, it's time for a refresh. I just watched Pink Panty wearing poser Justin Horville do his little list, and uh, don't worry, I got my Pink Panties on as well, because we're going through all 20 of my favourite death metal albums of all time, and that's right, I do not own any of these fucking albums. That's right, I'm a black metal channel, so I only own black metal CDs and vinyls, and you may be thinking, oh, what the fuck is this Iron Maiden one doing? That was a present for Christmas, so shh, shh, shit your little hole. So yeah, today we are talking about my favourite top 20 death metal albums of all time. Uh, not in any order, but I will tell you my favourite when we get to it. I'm just threw a list up quite quick because it, it pops into the mind. If they don't pop into your mind straight away, then they're probably not your favourites. So yeah, these are the top 20 favourite death metal albums of all time. It's completely different to my last list. Some overlaps, but some don't overlap. So enough babbling, enough talking out my ass. Let's get on with the list. Starting with Asphyx, The Rack. That's right, The Rack last time, last time I think it was Last One on Earth, which is still a fantastic record. But I've started to get into The Rack a lot more recently. And for some reason, this album has just grew me a lot. Um, I love the kind of slow, chugging, doomy evil nature of this album. I know that will probably trigger um, Buff Man himself, Justin. But I like my doomy death metal, so you may see some more stuff like that on this list. But yeah, I love the methodical chugs on this album. I love how dreary it sounds. I love how it's drenched in just filth and mud. Love this album from start to finish, and yeah, Asphyx, they have a lot of good albums. I could put a lot of them on Death Hammer, fantastic release as well. But for me, The Rack is my favourite. Next up is Bolt Thrower. Bolt Thrower. Bolt Thrower. Um, probably my favourite death metal band, just because they just riff unlike anyone else. They just riff unlike anyone else. And there's a lot of albums I could pick but I'm going with Those Once Loyal, the latest album. Yeah, it's changed. It used to be The Fourth Crusade. Um, that is a bit more slower and doomy, but just the riffs and the catchiness on every single song of this album, it just it just draws me in. At First Light, starting with At First Light, oh, if that doesn't get you hooked in straight away, I don't know what will. You know, I don't know what will. So many good songs on this album. Anti-Tank Dead Armor, that bass intro. Oh, so good. So good. So many good songs. It's a masterpiece from start to finish. And if they don't do any more albums, I'll be fine with that because they ended on a fucking high note. Next up is my favourite death metal album of all time. And this was on my previous list as well. Um, Scream Bloody Gore. Hasn't changed, hasn't changed in a couple of years. Still scream bloody gore, still fantastic, still thrashy, still just in your face. All the songs are great. Chuck's vocals are just insane. Zombie ritual! Oh, how good, how good is that? Sacrificial cunt. Oh, oh, the delivery. Ooh, makes my pink panties just wet as a water slide. I love this album, and... Yeah, it's got to make it onto this list and every other list I ever do about death metal. Next up is Niall, uh, another one that hasn't changed, Those Whom the Gods Detest. Those Whom the Gods Detest. Bit of a more um, slower album for Niall. Again, I like that kind of stuff more. Um, title track, Fantastic Kafir. You know, come on, seeing that live is just phenomenal. Saw them this year and the, <laughs> the pits for Kafir, amazing. Hitati Dung Incantation, maybe my favourite song on the album, just furious as all hell. Love those whom the gods detest. Next up is Camel Corpse. Um, yeah, as Justin says, is you can't have a death metal list without Camel Corpse. It's, it's got to be done. Throat is dry. Dry as a nun's fluffer. Um, yeah, you can't have anything about Camel Corpse. And Kill is the one to go to. Yeah, I could pick the Barnes era stuff, but... You know, I like Corpse Grinder more. Preferences and all that. Corpse Grinder's better. Just to me, he's fucking better. You know, his neck's thicker. Um, that means he's better. <laughs> no, Kill is just punch you in the face. Just continuously punch you in the face until you're a bloody pulp. This album goes hard from start to finish. 
It's like the death metal equivalent of Marduk's Panzer Division. Marduk just furious the entire way through. No letting up, no stopping. You are going full force into that fucking wall, and you're going to love it. Next up is Autopsy with Mental Funeral. Yeah, I could pick Severed Survival. That is a masterpiece. But again, I like the solo stuff a bit more, so Mental Funeral is better for me. I love my Doom Metal. Uh, my top two genres are Funeral Doom, the slowest thing you can fucking get, aside from, like, Drone, um, and Atmospheric Black Metal. So, of course, I like my slower shit. Um, Mental Funeral amazing you know just again kind of like asphyx is the rack very slow very dripped in feel very just like Bleh. i i adore it um it, and i love the album cover like the album cover is fan fucking tastic kind of like the thing the amalgamation of all the, the creatures on the cover Mwah. kind of like altars of madness yeah love it next up is a newer one ulcerate stare into death and be still as soon as i heard this one instantly favorite Got the shirt straight away. Um, this kind of dissonant, almost technical death metal, but not with the not not technical in the sense of like really fast or really just weird noises all over the place, like Arch Spire or Necrophagist. Because I'm not big into that. This is more technical in the again, like I said, dissonant, like a swirling vortex of madness when you're listening to it. Very dark. I almost said it was black metal. I think when I did the review a couple of years ago. Said it was black metal. Because <laughs> it sounded like fucking a Death Spell Omega. It does. It has that kind of atmosphere. I love that. So, we'll say, can't praise them enough. So many good albums. And this one happens to be my favourite. Next up is Dismember, like an ever-flowing stream. Last time I had massive killing capacity, which is also good. But like an ever-flowing just has those melodies that keep me coming back for more. Um, the melodicism on this album is top tier. It's top, tippity top tier, and you can't get better. There's no other album on this list that has melodies as good as, like, an ever-flowing stream. It's impossible to do. Dismember has to be on a list, and it's coming here. Time for some more uh, technical death metal. Cryptopsy with non so vile. Now, this is, like, technical brutal, because holy shit, it's heavy. Crown of Thorns. <laughs> How fucking good is that? This may be, if I was ordering it, this might be number two. I love this album. Got the hoodie straight away. Um, Slit Your Guts. Just the song titles, the punchiness of the songs, how heavy they are. Lord Worm's vocals. He's the best vocalist on this list. Hands down, he's the best vocalist on this list. Um, Shame is only in a couple of albums for um, Cryptopsy. But yeah, I love them. I could have put the first one as well. Blasphemies, Blasphemies Made Flesh. But non Vile just does it for me. It tickles my balls better. So that's why it's here. Carrying on with this train, Suffocation is next with Effigy of the Forgotten. Yeah, they have a good amount of other albums. Pierce from Within has a bit more melodicism in it. And um, Human Waste EP is fantastic and grimy. We're talking about full lengths, and Effigy just hits the right spot again for me. Um, it, I know it paved the way for a lot of clone-like bands and whole genres, but nothing quite comes as good as Suffocation's Effigy of the Forgotten. It just doesn't. It just fucking doesn't. Next up is Carcass. That's right, Necroticism. Ooh, yeah, Necroticism. So early on they were kind of like Ghoul Grind, um, which I was fine with. I'm not a big fan. Um, ooh, showing my poser, poserness again. Um, but I liked it when they changed. I went like Necroticism, Heartwork, Surgical Steel. That's my golden era of Carcass. I saw them last week, actually. I saw Carcass live last week, and they fucking nailed it. The songs from Sur Sur Surgical Steel can't talk. Turning to Sean Connery. So good, but yeah, Necroticism just has that perfect blend between the early stuff and the later, more polished kind of stuff, and it just melds together so well, and yeah, Necroticism is a masterpiece of an album, and it's gonna make it onto this list. Cal of Decapitation is next with the Anthropocene Extinction. Why do they make it so hard to say these album titles? Could have picked Monolith, Monolith of Inhumanity. This is another band which used to be grindy, uh, which I wasn't a big fan of, but now the more... Pff, just a no straightforward death um, with a lot of crazy screaming by Travis saw them live again last year and he's so good live like holy shit his vocals are fantastic and this album just does the best and you know we fucking die tonight you just gotta sing it you got to sing that song this is easily my favourite album by the band and I'm gonna continue to play it over and over and over 
Going back to some more doomy shit incantation with Diabolical Conquest. Yeah, it used to be the Mortal Throne of Nazarene, but I've kind of grown into Diabolical Conquest a bit more. Um, Onward to Golgotha is also fantastic, and it's a classic. But um, there's something about um, Diabolical Conquest that just kind of fine-tunes the established sound and just makes it pop, makes the music pop. It's hard to explain. It kind of takes the first two albums and just revitalizes it uh, into a more refreshing experience. Um, I'm just saying loads of buzzwords like fucking IGN review. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Definitely refines the sound. Um, is it as iconic as Onward to the Golgotha? Is it as heavy? Probably not. But I think the songs are better, so it's here. Gotta talk about Immolation now. So many albums I could do. Donald Possession's great here and after, but I like the newer stuff. You know what? Fuck you. I like the newer stuff. Um, I love Majesty and Decay, but Atonement. Oh, Atonement's where it's at. The riffs on Atonement. Ooh, you know, I like my riffs like Bolt Thrower and Tith of Riffs. They riff hard on Atonement. The melodies within, so damn good. Atonement just has that perfect blend of not clean production, but you can hear what's going on. It's not quite as murky. And also the powerful riffs and the powerful vocals as well. It mixes them together perfectly. And Atonement is my favourite Immolation album. So yeah. Next up is Pestilence. Ooh, Pestilence. I pissed off the singer ages ago, a couple of years ago, just because I did a uh, ranking of their albums and I, I wasn't good in my words, which is fair enough, you know, entitled to your own criticism, which is fine. I did get loads of fans from that, from him slamming me, which I thought was kind of funny. That his own fans were uh, coming over to see me <laughs> instead of him. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm in the Twilight Zone. Anyway, uh, I'm picking Consuming Impulse. I'm picking Consuming Impulse, the, the second album by the band. Uh, the first album's very thrashy, uh, very good, but I think they came into their own on the second album, and it has uh, Martin Van Druen on vocals, and he, his raspy kind of dry throat like vocal style just works so well. And this album, I used to like the spacey stuff more. Ooh, spacey. I used to like that stuff more with like Testimony of the Ancients and Spheres, but I don't know. There's something about Consuming Impulse, which is grimy, it's heavy, it's evil, and I just, I can't get enough of it. Just can't get enough. Next up is Morbid Angel. Can't have a list like this without Morbid Angel. Blessed are the sick. That's right, not Altars of Madness. Um, I used to love that more. Straight to the point. You know, straight to the point death metal. It can't get much better. But I think Blessed is just more atmospheric. I think it's a bit more evil and just has more charm to it than the debut. Still love the debut. Debut's still like a fucking 10. Uh, but I just like Blessed more nowadays. I don't know why. I think it's the mood of it. I think it's the mood. I don't know what the fucking noise is. Shh. Shh. You have to close the fucking window. And we are back. Fuck off shorts. Expose my pink panties here. Uh, yeah, we are back. And the next album up is gonna be, it's gonna be, a weird one is Bellacore, Stone's Reach, that's right, you might be thinking, what are you doing putting this one here? This is more on the progressive side, this is more on the melodic side, fuck you, it's still death metal, this is my list, I can do what I want. Stone's Reach just is so fucking good, holy shit. Ooh, it does have those progressive elements, it does have those melodic melodicisms, but the vocal style is still death metal, so fuck you. It's not death doom, you know, it's not mainly prog, it's mainly death. You know, with a bit of splash of the other stuff in, and when it hits, it hits fucking hard. And the choruses are so damn infectious, and the the melodies, oh my god. This album from start to finish is a masterpiece, and everyone needs to listen to it. Everyone needs to check out Bellacore. I'm sure it's, it's completely different to a lot of the other pure death metal stuff on this list, or death doom stuff. But I still think everyone should check it out, and it's easily one of my favourites of all time. So it's here. Next up, Edge of Sanity, Purgatory Afterglow, another one, uh, rides the fine line between prog death, um, but prog death is mainly death metal again, like I'm saying, so I'm putting it here, Edge of Sanity, Dance 10, I could have picked so many albums, Crimson, you know, but Purgatory Afterglow just, I don't know, it doesn't have that whole full album feel like Crimson 1 and 2, it's more like actual songs, which I like a bit more, I do like that a bit more than a full album, um, not to take away from Crimson, because it's a masterpiece, but Purgatory Afterglow, just every single song just speaks to me more, and I love it for that, so yeah, it's coming here. Next up is Vado, Deeper Fundus. This is a bit more on the uh, faster side. 
It's more like thrashy kind of death metal. I don't know, kind of like Possessed or something like that. Really, really underrated band. Um, well, not in the underground, but you know what I mean. Like com- compared to most people looking at death metal, this is a fairly underrated one. Um, I've got to give it more love, and I need to do a ranking for them because I've never done it. And you know, spoiler alert: Deep Profundus is my favourite. <laughs> so when I do do that ranking, um, yes, spoilers ahead. But it's fast to the point, smashes you over the head, keeps you the 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 guitar is so good in it, the vocals are fantastic. It's just an all round perfect album. And it's got to make it here. I'll give you the D. Uh, Legion has always been my favourite. Um, in my ranking, I put the debut fairly low, which is kind of stupid in retrospect, because it's actually a bloody amazing album. So what the hell was I thinking? But Legion's still better. So fuck you. Legion's just better in every single fucking way. Um, it just has more technicality. It just... The songs are just not quite... I mean, they're still evil. It's the side. But I don't know, they have a bit more of an evil edge to it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But um, Legion and Once Upon the Cross are my two favourites easily. Then probably the debut after that, uh, if I was going to re-rank the band. But Legion, bloody amazing album, and I'm glad that they're doing it in full on recent shows. So yeah, there we go. That is my top 20 death metal albums of all time. If you don't like it, go fuck yourself. I don't care. Put your own list down below because I want to see what you guys think of the top 20 death metal albums of all time. I've missed off loads. You know, there's loads of bands I've missed off. Um, you know, there's no Mortician on here. Ooh, ooh. There's, no, there's, there's no, um, no Massacre. There's no Cancer. There's no Demigod. So many bands I haven't put on here. Aborted. You know, it, it can only fit 20. All right. And these are my 20. I'm not going to lie to you and put on ones just because the fucking underground, just because the scene is good. I don't fucking care. I don't care what you see as good. This is what I see as good. These are my top 20. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And have yourselves a nice jolly day. We'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.